Hey guys, it's Diana with another prophetic word from God, and I want to speak to you about out of season miracles. But I want to focus on the Lord is my banner. This is what God is saying that the Lord is your banner. When God started to speak to me about this, I was not so excited because I did not understand it. But He was saying to me that in this season, He's your banner. And I was like, yeah, all right, a banner. I was imagining a flag. You are a flag? What do you mean? <laughs> Although I read the Bible story, right? Because it's coming from Exodus chapter 17, and I'm going to read to you the Bible verses. But I was like, yeah, all right. Like there are other names of God that I really think, you know, they are great. They excite me because I have a knowledge and an understanding of them, right? But Jehovah Nisi, for me, it was a good. I loved the story, but I did not really understand it. It's like, God, you are a flag. All right. Thank you. A standard. <laughs> Let me go into the prophetic word and explain to you what this actually means and how it's connected to miracles. So as already mentioned, we find the story in Exodus chapter 17, verse 14. Then the Lord said to Moses, write this on a scroll as a reminder and recite it to Joshua, because I will utterly blot out the memory of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and named it, The Lord is my banner. Indeed, he said, a hand was lifted up toward the throne of the Lord. The Lord will war against Amalek from generation to generation. But let me go back to verse 10. So Joshua fought the Amalekites as Moses had ordered. Verse 11, as long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. So now it comes. The Hebrew word Ness is translated as a banner or a standard, an ensign, signal, or sign. So you could say Jehovah, my sign, my standard, or my signal as well. This is how you could translate it. But they chose banner. The interesting thing about Nisi the name Jehovah Nisi is that the word Nisi is actually the Hebrew word Nes. And in Hebrew, it means miracles, but we find it in the Bible translated as a banner or a signal, a sign. So Jehovah, my banner is brought in connection to Jehovah who does miracles because of the Hebrew word, the Hebrew meaning of the word Nes. The banner is the sign, a sign of miracles. The word origin of Ness is Nasas, and it means to be high or conspicuous. This means open to the view, obvious to the eye, easy to be seen, plainly visible, manifest, attracting the eye. It also means to be displayed or sparkling. In Zechariah chapter 9, verse 16, it says, The Lord their God will save his people on that day as a shepherd saves his flock. They will sparkle in his land like jewels in a crown. The word sparkle is the original word of Ness, banner, right? Can you remember God making a covenant with Noah and all the people, the entire earth? Genesis chapter 9, verse 12 says, And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you. A covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Visible for everyone to see. It's a sign for God that he will keep his promises. The word in Genesis is another Hebrew word. It's not Ness, but it also means banner, sign, mark, miracle, and sign or token. So basically pretty much the same. But this word comes from a Hebrew origin word that means to consent or agree. So the sign was a sign or agreement. It was a banner of agreement for God to do miracles. 
The Lord is saying that He's doing out of season miracles. You may have expected it to come in another season, but it's coming now because I'm so connected to the Hebrew calendar and I see how God is moving. And when He's moving, I was like, that's for the month of Nisan, God. And you want me to release it now? They are not really connected. But God was saying then to me, out of season miracles. The Lord does not have to move according to the Hebrew calendar. He created it and He has set it in place. And that's how He's moving most of the time. But He does not have to. He can move outside of that. He can do miracles outside of time. And that's why He's saying that I'm going to do things that were meant for another time, but I'm not going to wait until then. I'm going to pull them into the now. I'm going to draw them closer because it should have already happened and some of you have missed your moment or there may have been other reasons. But God is saying that I'm not going to wait until the next year or the next two, three, four years. The Lord is saying that He's not going to wait another cycle. He's pulling miracles that you expected Him to do it back then into the now. The timing and the way God revealed this word to me gives me the confidence to release it to you with even more confidence. I do have confidence in the words that God is revealing to me, but sometimes the Lord is adding. If you think about the word that I released yesterday with the rainbow, He showed me a rainbow. Do you see how this connects to that word? Like everything, everything that the Lord gives me just fits perfectly. So think about this, a flag is visible, it's public, and it carries a significant meaning or message. It serves as a powerful representation for those who display it. So this banner was to serve as a visible indication that God had granted victory over the Amalekites and would eradicate their oppressors completely. From that point forward, a ness would act as a divine sign indicating God's watchful protection over his people. So that's from my own book and I'm going into depth on this topic. There is a lot more to this, but what I have shared with you right now is enough for now. So go and create a banner for the Lord. This is what I'm hearing God say. Go and create a banner for me. Write it in a big letters and make it clear for everyone to see that God, your God, is a God of miracles and He will fight for you. As Moses did, build an altar and name it the Lord my banner. So what was the banner? If you think about the story of Moses, what was the banner? His lifted hands, right? The altar was there for the event to be remembered, but Moses was a sign to the people and to everyone that God was with them. Because as long as he held his arms lifted, they were winning. And when he put them down, they were losing. Moses became the visible banner pretty much. In the same way, a rainbow is the visible banner or sign of God's covenant and promise. Do you see the connections? I hope you see the connections because when God revealed to me what this actually means, like the Lord, my banner, I was like, all right, now I am excited about saying the Lord is my banner because it's pretty much connected to miracles and to everything that I just shared with you. So do not forget to type in your email address if you want to get notified about prophetic planning, about the book. And also if you want to sow into this prophetic word, you will find the link in the description box. And if this is for you, if you resonate with this word, then write, the Lord is my banner, a miracle worker. The Lord is a miracle worker. If you want to book a coaching session, there are available time slots. And also, you may want to consider to join the community, the CS community as well, if you want a radical change, if you need more than one or two coaching sessions. All right, that's it for this video. Many blessings. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon.